관계 발전을 위해서 협의를 할수 있게 돼서 아주 어, 기쁘게 생각합니다. 안녕하세요. Let's go inside and meet with him. Hello, Ambassador. Hello, hi, welcome. Thank you, thank you for inviting us to your residence. You're most welcome. <laughs> yes, please. All right, thank you. Wow, your residence is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, please. If you see here, this is our leader. I mean, here we see His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Hayyan. He is the founder of the UAE. And we can see uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Hayyan, the President of United Arab Emirates, and uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He is the ruler of Dubai. He is the Vice President and ruler of Dubai, and uh, the Prime Minister of UAE. And His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Hayyan, the, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. if we see here this poster, this year is a very special year for us. It's Sheikh Zayed here. And Sheikh Zayed, he is the, the founder of the UAE. And he is mm -hmm. really behind uh, the idea mm -hmm. to, for the seven emirates to, to mm -hmm. become as a one emirate. And he is well known of the tolerance and really the peaceful message always sending to, to, to the world. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. really he is considered uh, a very uh, special uh, person to all Emirati. And all the mm -hmm. em Emiratis, they call them uh, Sheikh Zayed's sons and daughters. So mm -hmm. they're, they're proud about this name. Mm -hmm. I see a special badge. Yes, yeah, so you can see this is the special badge. Mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. we, we use it, and this is because it's a special year of mm -hmm. late Sheikh Zayed. I see. Um, thanks for introducing your residence for me. Sure, it's um, our pleasure to see you here. I'm happy to see you here and uh, to share with you today my experience in Korea. <laughs> uh -huh. um, shall we move and yeah, continue sure. our conversation? Sure, sure. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Um, so you started your tenure here from 2016, and it has been approximately two years. Mm -hmm. How has been your life here in Korea? Uh, I will be two years by 15th of November. So uh, it's really, uh, I mean, enjoying my staying here in Korea. Uh, the good things in Korea really is a very safe country and also infrastructure mm -hmm. the quality of life i mean the people so many things really uh, make life easy in korea and really uh, my family is here is very family oriented and really good for families uh, they have good school uh, really enjoying uh, our staying here in korea uh, also the people they're very nice and it's very safe 
So for a diplomat or any visitor, I mean, when they go to a country, they want to be to go to a safe and really, and also the country uh, in general is very nice. Mm -hmm. um, then which part of Korea and Korean culture has fascinated you the most? Uh, Korea, I mean, all the part of Korea is very nice. Uh, the nature here is Korea is very nice. I mean, uh, you can see the four seasons. Right. Uh, because in other countries you cannot see the four seasons. Really, each season has their own beauty. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Nami Island last weekend. It was very nice, you know. The, the, you can see uh, the beauty of the tree, the beauty of the autumn. Mm -hmm. And you can see a lot of really tourists, I mean, uh, from mm -hmm. different parts of the world and also from different parts of uh, Korea. Uh, the culture here, the people, is really very, very fascinating and very nice. The way the people, they really they feel proud about their culture, about their heritage. You can see them in their official ceremony, they're still wearing the hanbok and their traditional dress, which is really, this is good to keep the culture. And the young people still feeling proud about their uh, heritage and about their culture. Um, currently, there are 15,000 Korean, approximately 15,000 Korean living in the UAE, uh, which is the largest Korean population in the Arab world. Um, what kind of image do the Emirati people have of Korea and Koreans? We have really a good image about Korean people because, you know, we have a lot of Korean, as you mentioned, they're living in UAE. Uh, I mean, uh, Korean people, they're very, really uh, hardworking. I mean, you can trust them. Right. And also, mm -hmm. uh, they create a good image in terms of the, you know, the, the popular uh, K-pop music and also uh, the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, you can see this among the lot of Emirati, especially the young people or young generation. I mean, some of the, them, they speak uh, Korean, even they never been to Korea and really very um, fascinated about the Korean culture. A uh, lot of really band, they, uh, they, they, they've they been to UAE. Uh, I mean, during the visit of the President Moon Jae-in, there was a cultural event, and I attended this event, and uh, the President was there also, a lot of people also from UAE. I was really surprised to see how many people they attend, the young people, they were really uh, interaction with the, with the band and really they're enjoying the, the music, the mm -hmm. Korean music. We can see sometimes a lot of uh, university in UAE, they do like a Korean day, uh, which is they, they enjoy the culture uh, about Korea and really educated people about the culture. Mm -hmm. And also the good things like we have in UAE really, there is a Korean culture center, which has been, uh, I mean, uh, built by, by and then the Korean embassy. This is really a good thing, really, to, to become a closer, even with the geographical uh, distance, but still you can feel the culture there who want really to feel the culture, uh, Korean culture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, besides culture, Korea and the UAE also share a military link. Um, I'm talking about the AK unit that has been stationed in um, Middle Eastern states since 2011. Um, what kind of influence has this unit had on our relationship? I mean, the Akh unit is really, this is a good example about uh, really the bilateral and, and the strong relation between the two countries. Uh, Akh in our language, in Arabic, it means brother. Oh, and we I consider see. Korean, they're our brothers. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, this unit has really uh, been set up just to exchange the, the, the knowledge and really the training between the two countries. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, our relation has been expanded in all uh, sectors. So mm -hmm. as in defense is one of them. So AKH is really a good example for the cooperation between the country, uh, two countries in this sector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, among the seven emirates of the UAE, Dubai is the largest and most popular one. Uh, what enabled the UAE to build a city of dreams in the desert? Uh, this is thanks to our leaders, really, which is uh, what we achieve now. It's really, uh, we are really grateful for them, especially our uh, great, I mean, we can say that the father of the founder of UAE, Sheikh Zayed uh, Al-Hayyan, 
uh, he's the founder of the UAE, and really he have the dream that really to 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 uh, build this country in a modern way, to build it from a desert to become what you see now, and uh, also plus our leaders really very uh, supportive of this, and you can see the dream become true. I mean, really now our country one of the really uh, popular destination for a lot of tourists, for mm -hmm. a lot of business people. Mm -hmm. It's become really attracting a lot of people. And really, we are proud what, about what we see. Really, we are proud about our leader, how really they, uh, I mean, support this and really them being very active, really. And we can see it when you go to UAE, you can see, uh, I mean, uh, this and in our infrastructure, good infrastructure, and our uh, really good services and the standard of life. Uh, and uh, we can see a similarity here between Korea and the uh, UAE. I mean, it's, it's, uh, UAE is the miracle of uh, the desert, and here it's a miracle of the Han River, which is, this is a kind of similarity. And uh, I think uh, really uh, what we achieve based on our leader, based on our people, Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, now we have a lot of really educated people among Emirati, I mean, uh, women and men, they work together. And uh, this is, you can see it in, a, in our country. Mm -hmm. And also, it was very impressive to see all of those skyscrapers in the middle of the desert. Yes, this is, you know, the modern, uh, you can say modern country or a modern city. You can really high uh, skyscraper. I mean, as you know, we have Burj Khalifa as the tallest tower in the world. I mean, plus there is a lot of, so many buildings really, which is really, it became like, uh, um, I mean, a tourist attraction from all around the world and very famous. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the UAE holds the world's seventh largest proven reserves of oil. Um, still, the country continues to invest actively in other fields and industries. What is the impetus for such expansion? I mean, diversity is always good. You know, we don't want to depend on oil. You know, uh, now our uh, GDP is uh, more than uh, seventy-seven percent. Uh, I mean, non-oil uh, revenue or uh, GDP, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is really good. I mean, and really we are targeting to, to reduce the, the oil and, and our GDP. I mean, uh, because we don't want to want to rely on oil. I mean, we have other sector which is really adding value to the economy, tourism and other really sector which is really support uh, the non-oil revenue. In addition, um, the Emirates have been investing considerably in arts and cultural attractions, such as um, Louvre Abu Dhabi, officially opening in November last year. Can you? I mean, the UAE is believed that really arts is really uh, it's it's a cultural things and art things. It's really it's it's a human things you can see really uh, in the ground and really it's like a, a soft power where you can really uh, uh, build a bridge with other country, with other culture. Because if you see the Louvre Museum have a lot of really variety of, of, uh, of arts from all around the world, plus some art from UAE. And this is really good to show how, as I said in the, maybe in the beginning, the world is a small world. You can see mm -hmm. I mean, people at the end, they are human, and they have the same uh, passion, the same uh, uh, feeling so you can see it in the art when you go. I mean, I advise everybody to go to to Louvre Museum. is really one of the uh, state of the art building and also have to contain a lot of really precious really uh, arts. And uh, this is really we can say is like a soft power, which is really you can really uh, build a bridge with other country and uh, with other people through the art and the, through this kind of museum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, speaking of building bridge, um, last March, President Moon Jae-in paid a state visit to the UAE, um, his first visit in the Middle East. I believe this visit really shows how much Korea values the UAE as a partner. Um, what are your thoughts about his visit? I mean, really, we are really very happy uh, for, for this visit, and this is show you how really uh, the, the, the strong relation between UAE and Korea. Because, I mean, 
for the president uh, Moon Jae-in to visit uh, uh, a first country, the Middle East, as UAE, it shows the, 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 the strong ties, it shows the commitment from both leaders, I mean, to, to build and to, to strengthen this relation. I mean, I mean, as you saw, I mean, see, I mean, the, the, the two leaders agreed to upgrade the relation mm -hmm. from strategic uh, relation to, to a special strategic relation. Mm -hmm. And we can see it in the ground now, a lot of uh, visit exchange between the uh, very high ranking level between the two governments. And this is really to strengthen the relation and achieve the benefit for the two countries. What kind of partner is Korea for the UAE? Uh, Korea, they are really a special partner for us. I mean, especially if we see in the terms of the energy, for example, the nuclear power plant, I mean, which is uh, uh, built in UAE, in Abu Dhabi. Uh, this is really a good example because it's the first time for a Korean company to build it outside Korea. And also, it's the first time for us to build this kind of project. And this is really, it's, we can say, it's really good for Korean company to build the trust and the reference and in the Middle East to build such a technology. And also it's a good for us to build the knowledge and the transfer to knowledge to, to UAE citizens, uh, especially in this kind of technology for, uh, I mean, the energy. Mm -hmm. And I also understand that um, during his visit, I mean President Moon Jae-in, um, the two countries' leaders also discussed ways to step up their nuclear cooperation. Uh, what is it all about and what can we potentially achieve from it? I mean, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, as I said in the beginning, is the first pro project for us, such a kind of project as a nuclear uh, power plant and also first time for Korean to build it outside uh, uh, Korea, which is really, it's, it's a knowledge sharing between both parties. And really we build the experience with the Korean to build a such a uh, power plant at this size outside Korea, which is built in UAE. And uh, this is will really going to be uh, good for the next generation because the transfer of the know-how needs many of years. You cannot transfer it at one year or two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should think for our country in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should not just rely on oil and gas because uh, this is the future. And really, really we need to, to build the knowledge among our people and our, our, our generation to, to really, for the future generation, to, for sustainability uh, power mm -hmm. uh, supply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you just mentioned, we are expanding our fields of cooperation and exchange, and I believe we established our diplomatic ties in 1980. Um, what's the status of two countries' economic and trade partnership? I mean, we, we, we are working in all levels, I mean, all sectors. Uh, construction, for example, there is a lot of Korean company. And there is, in the, I mean, in terms of uh, equipment, a lot of uh, Korean equipment, uh, really. There is a lot of uh, trade between UAE and, uh, and we can see this, the, 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 uh, the growth in this trade uh, from year to year. And uh, because we believe in, I mean, in, in Korean technology, because uh, they build a trust. And uh, that's why uh, you see a lot of this tie in terms of uh, all sectors. Uh, healthcare is one of it, you know, recently you can see a uh, lot of patients being sent to UAE, I mean from UAE to, to Korea, mm -hmm. and also, for example, some of the Korean hospital, they're managing some of the hospital in, in UAE, and uh, this is kind of partner not only in the, I mean, in the terms of equipment, in terms of infrastructure, also in the healthcare, healthcare mm -hmm. tourism also uh, sector, which is, you can see a lot of tourists from UAE coming to Korea mm -hmm. and from uh, Korea to UAE. For example, last year there was more than 200,000 Koreans visited UAE. Um, during President Moon's visit to the UAE, um, he mentioned that Korea achieved the miracle of the Han River and Dubai achieved the miracle of the desert and that the two states can become partners that share a vision with their complementary economic structures. Uh, which areas of exchange and cooperation do we have the greatest potential? I mean, the opportunity is always there. I mean, in UAE for all Korean companies, they are most welcome 
to come and invest and also they are most welcome to come and do a trade I mean in UAE and uh, UAE is a, maybe a, we can consider it as a gateway for most of the Korean company to to for in the Middle East I mean to uh, to uh, I mean to expand and to expand their business uh, I mean there is a lot of sector really we can really work on it in the food and also technology uh, I mean uh, the fourth industrial uh, revolution which is this is really a common uh, interest between the two country I mean we have a new ministry which is in charge of these kind of uh, of technology and this is really the same things in Korea uh, I think this is the interest from both country I mean this sector is really uh, we can work together and really uh, the Korean company they will be most welcome because they're advanced uh, in this kind of technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I know that Korea and the UAE are building um, bridges and also expanding our fields of cooperation and exchanges but can you share your plans to help improve ties between South Korea and the UAE? I think, uh, I mean, we, as uh, you see, the, both con the good things of both countries, they're really willing and really to, to always increase these ties and really strengthen these ties from both parties, and this is a good sign. Uh, I mean, sometimes there is, uh, you know, as I said, a lot of uh, uh, tourists coming to Korea, so Korea to UAE, a lot of patients also coming here, a lot of businessmen coming here, students also. We have some students here which is really studying because you, Korea, they have also a good university. Uh, I mean, the, sometimes there are some challenges which is really we need to, to or obstacle, you know. Mm -hmm. The bridge, if you want to build between two countries, you have to have more frequent direct flight. Mm -hmm. And this is a challenge that we're mm -hmm. facing because of the, um, I mean, the, 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 the limitation of the numbers of the frequent flight between mm -hmm. uh, Korea and UAE. We hope this things is going to be solved. Really, this really we make uh, a stronger bridge we can see between the two countries. Um, what else do you hope to achieve during your stay here? I mean, I, I hope really to, to, during my stay here, to build really a, a strong tie between the two countries and really to uh, have really more and better uh, relation as really uh, during my term to, to add value uh, to this relation. And uh, this is really what, what, what I'm hoping to. Mm -hmm. um, Ambassador, thank you very much for your time and also sharing your insights with us today. It's my pleasure. I'm Samida. Thank you. I will show you some of our uh, heritage and culture. I would love to do We have here in our garden. Uh-huh. That's, uh, you can see the old tent. Oh, I can see from here. Yeah. <laughs> I will show you some of our uh, really cultural and heritage. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Wow. You can see this is uh, part of our culture. Uh-huh. And this is made of wool. So, which is warm and in the winter uh -huh. and also can uh, uh, water resistant, uh -huh, you can see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's surrounded by all natural wool. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. and because you know the wool uh, is resistant for, uh -huh. for water and also warm in the winter right, time. Right. And this is the, the part of the culture. So people, when they have guests, they enjoy staying in the tent. Uh -huh. And also and we sure. want our uh, Korean friend to experience our uh, some of our culture and heritage. Uh -huh. Uh, really, they, they love it and enjoy it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Diplomacy is really to build a trust among the people and really the, the, the easy way to, to let people to trust you. And this way is really you will enter the people's heart and not only the people, the country that you're in. If they build a trust in you and really through using the soft power is really more strong than using any kind of tools to, to build a bridge between the two countries.